Hey guys, Thrift Store Hacker back again. Sorry it's been a while since I posted a video, but uh been kind of uh doing a lot of stuff lately. I wanted to show you this. This is the uh new trike. This is uh I think I got it at the Wally World or something like that. But uh basically uh what I did with this is since it's an actual trike, not just like a tricycle back with the front over here being just like old bicycle, this is all one integrated trip built to be a trike, so it had a lot wider frame between here. So I was able to get a 500 watt wheelchair motor right up into the uh, drivetrain there and to mount it, I have this bracket here and we have this bolt right here and we have two bolts down here. And these brackets were actually from the, the electric wheelchair. That's why they lined up. As you can see, I've used them for other projects as well. But uh, they lined up perfectly, so I just decided to go with that. And right now, uh, we don't have the front hooked up, the front sprocket. But we have it hooked up in the back here. Uh, this motor actually came off of the, uh, the red uh, recumbent trike that I built. Uh, we're doing a motor upgrade on that one, so... Uh, and get back around to that. But uh, as you can see here, we have a sprocket. It goes down to the derailleur, and we have a seven speed cassette on the back here. And as you can tell, I'm using a much smaller gear than I was on the uh, on the recumbent trike. And the gearing on this, uh, you probably go to about five miles an hour all the way up in the, the top first gear, which would be the very top one right here. And then in seventh gear, which would be the very bottom one here, uh, it does about yeah, 13 to 15 miles an hour. It's a, just a touch slower than the original uh, trike that I've been riding around. But uh, it's actually just so much stronger. It's way more well built here. The tubes are a lot stronger. The whole bike is made of aluminum. So that took about mm, 10, 15 pounds off of it. And... I really didn't have to do much to mount this motor. It just kind of went in there and went in there good. Uh, I did have a system to run the chain all the way up to here and comes back down to the derailleur. But the problem with that is, is whenever the motor's on, these are going to be spinning, hitting you in the shins. Not a great day. But I have, as soon as they come back into stock, because I haven't been able to find anybody who has them in stock, they make a freewheel front sprocket where I replace the pedals here and the pedal have a freewheel clutch in it and the sprocket hooks up to it and that'll allow this to spin forward without having to turn the pedals while it's spinning forward so whenever the motor's on this can spin forward and I can just rest my feet on the pedals without them coming back up hitting me in the shins or having to pedal at just the right speed so I don't die um, it's going to be a, kind of a continuous build. This will be my daily driver. Um, as for the batteries, uh, we're just using the batteries out of the original electric trike. So you can see I've got it right there, and it's charging up on its charger right now. And we have our control box here. And it's got a bunch of holes in the sides of it and stuff. I haven't mounted the cooling fan on top yet for this particular one, but... All this right here came out of the original electric trike. Um, I beefed up the wiring. Basically, uh, I had an old set of car jumper cables that had this really thick rubber insulation on it, so I got some connectors and threw all that together. Um, basically, uh, it was a pretty quick, uh, you know, clean cut operation to get this mounted in. Uh, the thing that took me the longest is I sat here for about three or four hours trying to figure out how I'm going to mount that motor and did some uh, shuffling around with it and managed to figure out that this will just go straight up in here and it came in up through the bottom and it gives me plenty of room right here to adjust the seat up and down. And my next video I will uh, take it out for a ride and see what you guys think about it.